this week with the simple. Simple as in it doesn't take a lot to make a difference. I want you to meet Megan Kilroy and she wants to show you how something small can lead to big things. Megan Kilroy loves spending time in the garden on her college campus. Today she's tending to the chard she's growing. But she's not necessarily a gardener or trying to flex her green thumb. I'm someone who is passionate about social issues, about environmental issues. Social issues are important to me because I believe that everyone is equal and deserves an equal opportunity in this world to succeed. And it's the environment that Megan has made major impacts to. I am an eco-activist. I teach people and myself how to be a better caretaker for this planet. An eco-activist is someone who sees the problems in this world for our planet and does everything that they can to try and fix it. And she'll tell you, it's not hard. There are so many simple things to do to help the environment. You can bring a reusable water bottle, use reusable bags, recycle at the very least. Being environmentally conscious is so easy. It's just changing a couple of your daily practices, altering a few daily routines. If everyone contributes and does something little, you make a big difference in the end. One problem is the amount of plastic bags that are in our oceans, and one way that you can fix it is just by bringing reusable bags to the grocery store. I think that a lot of people don't bring reusable bags to the store because they're not educated on the impact that using plastic bags has on this planet. And that's what she campaigns about most, plastic. I've seen firsthand the impact that it has on this planet. I grew up right on the beach. My dad is a lifeguard, so he would take me down all the time, out paddle boarding and kayaking. And as I got older, the beautiful beach, just, I started seeing more and more plastic. I just decided that it would be something that I could impact, something that I could change. I've seen how it hurts sea life. I've seen how it just completely contaminates beautiful landscapes. You can see plastic bags tumbling down the street, you can see them caught in tree branches. It's not only an eyesore, it's detrimental to the planet. So how do you get your groceries home from the market? I bring my own reusable bag. And what effect does that have on the environment? It makes a big impact actually. So much plastic is wasted every year in the production of these free plastic bags that are handed out at grocery stores. They count for a big percentage of the trash that ends up in our ocean. Once they get into the water, they break apart and they start looking like jellyfish. And jellyfish is the main food of sea turtles. And sea turtles oftentimes mistake these plastic bags for jellyfish, eat them, and this plastic does not degrade in their stomachs. And mm -hmm. eventually, they are so full from this plastic, we're getting no nutritional value from it, that they die. So how are you bringing about change? I have lobbied local, state, and national politicians to try and stop plastic bags, try and promote the use of reusable water bottles. Uh, we've actually successfully banned plastic bags. In high school, she was working on a project, and she actually played a role in her hometown banning plastic bags at supermarkets. That's so impressive <laughs> that you can make that big of a difference. Yeah, it was a whole, just a, a group of students who cared enough to you know, stand up and make their voices heard. And Megan used this to get attention. Take a close look. This is the outfit she often wore to raise awareness. Catwoman was a tracksuit that we bought at a thrift store and we sewed it on with dental floss and fishing line. About 700 bottle caps that we had picked up off the beach. Catwoman was a visual representation of the amount of plastic that we waste. College is a big decision for everyone. And one of the draws for Megan to Pitzer College is that the entire campus is sustainable. I'll take you into the garden. I'll show you some of the plants we're growing. Okay. We have right here the state flower, the California golden poppy. So what happens with this lettuce here? Well, students grow their own lettuce and then use it to make salads, any type of food that they want. Okay. Um, we got some beets over there. We found out that this area produces some beautiful chard. So me and my friends, we have been working on growing and harvesting this crop we got right here. I can tell why Megan chose this campus. It's very lush and the campus is green. Every direction you turn, you can tell it has a lot of life to it. So here we have Pitzer College's living wall. It's okay. a vertical garden covered in succulents. And it's very cool, it's very sustainable because here we have our dorm and all the students' showers, sinks, it becomes gray water and comes down 
you can see by these purple pipes in here. Megan knows she has a lot cut out for her in the future, but she knows she's making an impact and she can affect change. I care so much about the environment and I dedicate so much time to it because if I don't, who else will? And I feel like it's something that is important and I can, in, even in small ways, make an impact. And I want to teach other people that they have that power as well. The ultimate goal is to raise awareness about this issue because if people know the impact they're having and the steps they need to take to change it, then we can make this world so much brighter for many generations to come. Megan also travels the world making short educational videos for children about different cultures. Great lessons, Madison. Start small and watch it grow.